Hello everyone, today we're going to do kind of a really random video, more so for a friend of mine who's wondering how to do it. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, drawing fronts and jet streams in Met Graphics. Met Graphics is a program developed by Tyler Young. It's all done in Photoshop. You can make your own custom weather graphics, and these are what I use for my newscast. Um, I'll show some examples. Uh, do I still have some on my desktop? I don't remember. Da, 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 12, 3. Yeah, I mean, some of these, you know, random graphics. Um, you can make really cool, professional-looking graphics. I make these pretty quick, usually, because uh, I only have, like, an hour to do it. But uh, you can make some really fancy graphics with all sorts of information and text and headlines and title bars and everything's included. Um, even, like, social media buttons and a website, and it's a very cool program, but um, we'll, we'll talk about more of that later. So first, um, the main question is how to de uh, create fronts and jet streams. So we're going to create a new layer here, and this is what we're going to create all of our uh, fronts in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So first, you're going to choose the brush tool in your toolbar, and up here is how you make how big the brush is. Now what you want to do is you want to make this how big you want to make the front or jet stream. Uh, I found that 143 is a really good jet stream. For example, that's what it would look like. Uh, when it's all out. I like that it's a good size, 143 is pretty good. Uh, for fronts, I typically do about 50-ish. So that's kind of what a front would look like uh, using the uh, Photoshop styles, just to get an idea. So we're going to delete that. Alright, so now you have like the size you want. We're going to do a front kind of just down Illinois, for example. We're going to choose the pen tool. <coughs> something in my throat and I don't have any water near me. I apologize. Choose a pen tool. You're going to click once to start to create a starting point. And you're going to click again and hold and then it'll create, start making your path and you can do it however you want. Click and drag it however shape you want here. I'm going to draw. That's not good. You can just, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Click again. again I'm just doing this kind of quick. Alright, so we have a path, a imaginary cold front here, and I want that to become my cold front. So, we're going to do, now that we have the path uh, driven here, we're going to click Stroke Path. And you're going to choose the Brush option and click OK. And that's kind of what the front would look like before we texture it. Now, important thing, some people have problems with the pen tool, make sure you have this one selected and the pen tool selected. Uh, by default, I believe it's the freeform one. Nope, I forget what it is. One of these is selected by default, and you also want to make sure it's uh, this option over here. Um, all this wonderful stuff. I'm trying to remember. Used to be, yeah, that's what it was. This is usually set by default. Uh, the shape layer. You want to make sure it's the path option. So get rid of that. All right. So now we want to texture this thing. So you're going to want to go to your effects menu. Actually, you can just, easier way is just click stroke. I lied. You want to do style. What am I doing? You want to do style. And here's where you can open all of your uh, textures that they are included. I already have them open, so you can see I can change it. Uh, jet stream, warm front, cold front, dry line, etc. Uh, but first you're going to need to open it. So we've got a cold front. And then you can just right click delete path. I'll get rid of the pen. Boom, you have a cold front. But first you have to open the styles. Uh, and that's really done pretty simply. Just click File, Open. And they're all in here. If we go back to um, Mech Graphics here, uh, again we have the PS styles and they're all chilling right here. And then that's when you can go to uh, just whatever you want, really. Um, you want to do that. Styles. And just choose whichever you want. All right. So now we're going to want to open. If we want to do a jet stream now, we're going to have to open a new layer because that texture applies, or that um, style applies to everything in the layer. So if you want to create something else, you have to do it on a new layer. So now we're going to create a jet stream. Again, choose a brush tool, and I had my um, we'll do like 143. Bam. Right. And again, this is what it would look like before we stroke it. You can even just draw it like that, honestly. Uh, if you prefer, but you don't get really smooth bend and everything. 
again we're going to choose the pen tool we're going to click this off the page I don't know why I'm having difficulty here ah see I just made that mistake too again you want to make sure it's uh, the pen tool and you want to make sure it's the path option click we'll just make a jet stream yeah I like that stroke path brush alright so there's my path again you want to go to styles and then I have the jet stream option here right click delete path shabam there you go and then I can do some fancy text jet stream and then make it white shabam I like shabam it's a cool word yeah you want to arc it a little bit so give it some cool little effect wait that's not what I want I want to want an arc that's what I want there we go mood over here turn it and that sexy jet stream right there and then there's all sorts of other cool things you can do with the mech graphics but that's you know how to draw front and jet streams you can also get the front they are included in the newer version of weather map 3.3 uh, and I have a few versions before it they also have all these fronts in here included so we can just draw in you don't have to draw it at all you just drop it in I have an older version of Photoshop that so doesn't always go that way paste it in there we can move it around I'm personally just gonna make it a little bit smaller and then coal front behind the dry line pretty typical beautiful look at that what a beautiful map let's draw some snow behind it why not filter no we want to do filter render clouds oh yeah move it behind look at that beautiful that's what I like to see so yeah that's how you make front jet streams etc and well, they're Matt. Thanks for watching.